Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by the world's authority on naked celebrities, Jim McBride, a.k.a. Mr. Skin. Welcome, brother. Hey, Sean. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it, man. Let's go beyond the mic. As a pike from Indiana University, did you ever think that your habit, memorizing where all the good parts in movies would land you to where you are today? <laughs> No, no idea. Uh, as a kid in high school and college, I, I collected nude scenes. I recorded as many as I could. My dad got me a, a, a Betamax and cable television in the early 80s. The convergence of technologies was so important to me, but I didn't know it at the time. It wasn't until the 1990s when I became this uh, freak where if you were at a party or you know at a, at a bar, my friends would all quiz me on actors or actresses before the internet and stuff and I knew it off the top of my head and by weird circumstance I got on a radio show in Chicago and it became a popular segment and I launched MrSkin.com in 99 and here we are 21 years later I've had the greatest job in the world and now have a documentary that I've executive produced on the history of nudity in the movies which is getting great reviews and I'm really excited about. Nudity in film has grown from the silent movie era to today. Are people desensitized to nudity in films right now? Well, um, I don't know if desensitized is the right word. Here's what I'll say. I'll tell you that, and this might shock you, that we're in the golden age of celebrity nudity. And the reason I say that is I've watched uh, over the last 21 years. So when I watched, launched Mr. Skin in 99, for instance, just we always got, there was movie nudity, but from television there were... Um, 19 places we got nude scenes or sexy scenes from on television for the website. 10 years later, there were 29. In, uh, 19, or in 2019, 2020, we're averaging 144 television shows across 36 platforms, you know, with Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and all these original programming, um, with female nude scenes, 100, <clears throat> 144 compared to 19 when I started. And here's the... Here's the other thing people don't re realize. There's almost as much male nudity on television, 142 different shows across uh, the same amount of platforms that feature male nudity. Um, we truly are in the golden age of nudes. It's not going away. I don't know if people are desensitized. It's just what's different now is when a, a great television show is out, it's not a shocker that it has nudity in you know, back in the 80s and 90s, if it was a great television show, it had no nudity, right? It just was how it was. Skin, a history of nudity in the movies is the film. Jim McBride is the executive producer going beyond the mic. Jim, your movie features Shannon Elizabeth, Malcolm McDowell, Kevin Smith, and more examining the past and future of nude scenes, especially after the Me Too movement. Where do you see the future of nudity in film? Well, the big thing that we cover in the documentary, uh, you know, the, you know, we start at Thomas Edison and the creation of the motion picture all the way to the Me Too movement is the big difference now is actresses have this thing on the set of movies or television shows called intimacy coordinators, which a lot of people hadn't heard of. They're on the set to make sure that the director um, doesn't go outside of what was promised for the actress to do a nude scene. Also, just to have someone there to confide in, to talk to while the scenes are being filmed, to make sure everything's on the up and up. Um, and it's such a contrast to what actresses in the 70s and 80s had to deal with. And we talked to Diane Franklin from Last American Virgin or Linda Blair from Chain Heat, and they didn't have an intimacy coordinator, and it's, it's so different. But it's one of the really good things uh, about what's changed in uh, film nudity uh, over the course of time since the Me Too movement. Now, what was the last movie you watched entirely for entertainment, not for work? Oh, uh, gosh, Jojo Rabbit. I love that movie, and um, that wasn't a, a, a nudie movie. But I, people think I only watch movies with nudity, but that's not true. I, I, am, uh, I love documentaries. I love sports uh, movies, uh, uh, all of that. I, I love the Last Dance documentary, uh, you know, uh, being from Chicago and all. So um, I watch a ton of television and movies without nudity. I think it's because my job is all nudity. So when I come home, I want to get away from work. You know, it's, uh, I, I don't really watch a ton at home. I do it during the day, you know. Would you welcome your daughters, London and Lola, if they turned into actresses, what would your thoughts be if they actually did a nude scene? <laughs> um, well, it'd 
be pretty hypocritical of me to not acknowledge it. Um, but um, I, my friends joke all the time that uh, uh, that's how uh, my life's going to go, that they'll become actresses and do nude scenes. But hopefully by then, uh, they're still young, my daughters. Uh, hopefully by then I'll be out of the business, but we'll see. <laughs> Skin, a history of nudity. In the movies is the film Jim McBride, a.k.a. Mr. Skin, is the executive producer. Thank you so much for talking with me today. You got it, Sean. Thanks. And that, my friends, is Beyond the Mic Shortcut. Shortcut.